So guys, for the first step, you want to head over to search and then you want to type in services. Click on it. And now once you're on this, you want to click on any service and then click on D on your keyboard. Now you want to scroll down until you find diagnostic policy service. You want to double click on it. And then you want to change the startup type to automatic and then click on start, which will then make the service running. And then click on OK. But if you already got to this stage and it was already on automatic and it was already running, then you want to click on restart the service. Now for the second step, you want to head over to search and type in CMD. You want to right click on it and then click on run as administrator. And then click on yes. Now once you're on this, you just want to copy and paste the commands, which I'm going to leave down. Or you could just type it if you want to, but I'm just going to be copy and pasting it. So for the first one, control C and then control V, which will then paste right here. And now for the second one, control V, paste it right here. And now we have two more commands. You could also copy and paste them, but I'm just going to type it in. So it's going to be IP config space forward slash flush DNS. Click on enter. And then you want to type in NETSH space Winsock space resets and click on enter again. It's going to ask you to restart your computer, but don't restart it yet to complete the next steps in the video. Now for the next step, you want to head over to search and type in view network connections. Click on it. Now once you're on this, you just want to take note of your network adapter name. So my one's called Intel R Pro. So now once you take note of the name, you want to head over to search again and type in device manager. Click on it. And now once you're on this, you want to expand network adapters. And then you want to find the network adapter with the same name. So this one's mine right here. You want to right click on it and then click on update driver and then click on search twenty for drivers. Make sure they have the best drivers for your device installed. And now for the next step, you want to head over to search and type in troubleshoot settings. Click on it. Now once you're on this, you want to click on other troubleshooters. And then you want to find network and internet. You want to click on run. And now this will appear. If it finds any problems, it will tell you to fix it. Now you just want to restart your computer and then the problem should be fixed.